She built this pond 100% for her dog. It gets way too hot in the backyard and the dog just needs a place when it's 115 degrees out here to just kind of lay down in a stream, cool off and enjoy this. But this is not a rock that you typically use. Where was the inspiration? Actually, the inspiration of using this rock came from the project that we did up in Prescott uh, with oh. uh, Chris Miller, the stone truck project. Yep. So I used that same rock supplier to haul this rock down here. Oh. I'll have to say, I think you got better rock than the stuff we got out there in Prescott. Hey, it's Brian with Team Aquascape, and I am out in, where am I, Ralph? Hereford, Arizona. Hereford, I was gonna say Hereford, but it's Hereford. It depends on who you yeah. ask. <laughs> if you're from Chicago, you say Hereford. Why am I here? Just to look at this. Just to look at this. And then we're gonna go do something else. Yeah, so I'm actually out here. The guys are back home prepping for Joey Genovese out of Canada, getting ready for his sandbox studio build. We booked this months and months ago to come out here and do this, not knowing if Joey was even gonna come in from Canada or not. But you and Charlie and Jack have been out here for a week yep. working on this thing, and I've seen some pictures of it, and I can see the water running from here, and it looks absolutely incredible. Yeah. This is actually her second or third feature? This is her second her feature. second feature. She's got one in the back here, too. Yeah, like a year and a month ago, Jack, Alan, Decker, and myself came out and did that for her. And so you guys couldn't finish, so I'm here today to make sure that that gets done, right? <laughs> <laughs> we got one section of liner to cut. So I got a nice I can't wait to see this. I bet you guys can't wait to see this either. This is not what we're I'm here for to help work on this one, but I'm so glad I am because it looks amazing. You guys check this out. So look at this thing. So we have three five to nine pumps operating the whole thing. This is the waterfall that's obviously visible from the kitchen here. That's the kitchen window. Sit out here when the sun's not baking on you in the backyard, you can come out over here. But it just looks insane. And this rock is actually like stuff I've never seen before. And I'll show you what I mean. So then there's two five to nines on this at about a seven foot width right there. So getting lots of water coverage. But look at how this flat rock in here has these natural high spots in it. We look for that a lot, but you don't see, for example, we come down over here by Jack. You don't often see rocks like this one with natural flat areas right there and then this whole waterfall is a flat area. So it's really cool, even this one here, super flat, right in through here and then look at this little bubble that comes up on it. Some really, really cool rocks. Jack, Ralph, Charlie did an amazing job on this. Cool little trick too and it really only works with, that well, works with smaller rocks but it's a lot more fun and doesn't look so obvious. But this is a big seven foot long rock and it just tilted slightly this way to get all that water come off over here and then look at how far it pools up on that rock. So glad I was able to come out here and uh, I, the guys obviously didn't need me to finish some edges and stuff. I was more happy just to come out here and see this. There's even a more amazing project in the backyard, but I know Greg is gonna come out here, see Ralph with Pondscapes AZ, and he's gonna film that back. But here's a little teaser of what's in the backyard. Wait till you see that pond when Greg comes out here and films that thing. It's so cool. So she built this pond 
a hundred percent for her dog. It gets way too hot in the backyard and the dog just needs a place when it's 115 degrees out here to just kind of lay down in a stream, cool off and enjoy this. Well, let's go interview these two guys, see what they have to say, and then we'll go build another project tomorrow. Kind of a romantic spot. Are you doing it? I am. Yeah, because, yeah. You guys, I'm feeling love it. is in the air. <laughs> you guys, this is an incredible project, and it's so awesome that I got to see it. Tell me a little bit about what went into this. It started out with vision from Lee. She didn't want her dog jumping in the pond that we did for her last year, so she wanted something nice and tranquil that she could get in and get her feet wet and lay down. And the uh, dog, it, the, the dog, yep. And uh, it started out on that side, and then it just kept growing and growing. Lee told me, she said, well, what if we did something over here? And and something over here, and I'm like, fine, yeah. we can do Yay. that. <laughs> yeah. I love the way it just fits right into the existing topography. There's nothing built up. Everything looks like it was just carved through water, just kind of carved out, leaving back behind the stone. That's something that, that you and I talk about a lot, right? It's carving into the landscape instead of building up. And here we have the opportunity to do that. We have a great change from the sidewalk down to where the waterfall ends of about two feet, probably because we went down in the ground with it. And then we were able to just kind of like step back and layer into the landscape, bringing the rock like into the dirt where, you know, your famous line, the water carved you yeah. away the soil and left the rock behind. That's the look we were going for here. And then bringing this waterfall in, we knew we had to make the berm enormous for it to work with the scale. The last thing we wanted was a volcano out in the front yard. So we put this gigantic berm in here. And then how many, was it 40 or 50 tons of rock? Yeah, the big stone is uh, 40 tons. So that's this is all northern Arizona, what was it like a moss rock or something? Yeah. Yep. But this is not a rock that you typically use. Where was the inspiration? Actually, the inspiration of using this rock came from the project that we did up in Prescott uh, with oh. uh, Chris Miller, the stone truck project. Yep. So I used that same rock supplier to haul this rock down here. I'll have to say, I think you got better rock than the stuff we got out there in Prescott. There's yeah, some this amazing is, this is nice pieces stuff. in here. I'm, I mean, you how do you find rock with this much lichen on it? It's beautiful stuff. And they're huge. They're huge slabs of rock, just covered in lichen. And what's cool is like there's different colors of lichen. Here. There's like a lime green, there's like this aqua color. There's some really, really cool textures to the rock besides the rock itself. Incredible. And you guys did this, the two of you, Charlie. Charlie Holland, yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, out of New Hampshire. Yes. Right? Good. Five days? Six days? Six days. Six days. Six, yeah. That's we had, amazing. We had a clean up day on Sunday, which you were here for, but uh, we were done with it by then. Yeah. We're doing this whole, see, Lee gave us a lot of creative freedom out front here. And she really legitimately had no idea of what we were doing. <laughs> I mean, we, we chopped out the sidewalk and she's like, you guys are taking out my side. <laughs> <laughs> it's so great when we have like a, a blank canvas to work with and no, no limitation. Do whatever you want. And I tried to explain to her what we were going to do and she yeah. was like, just go. That's yeah. awesome. Well, having the rapport from doing the water feature in the back and when we came back to do this one, I think she was very comfortable with what we were going to do. So she let us off the chain and yeah, we went a little nuts out here. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to show everybody the one in the back. Uh, you said the pond guy is coming out here to vlog this. That's right. So we'll let everybody kind of uh, hang on that for a little bit. Yeah, I mean, you can see it at Atlantis Water Garden. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys check out Ralph BZ over there with Pondscapes AZ. Incredible, incredible builder out here in Arizona. If you guys know Jack. If not, mm -hmm. there he is. <laughs> He's got an incredible YouTube channel. You guys, this is inspiring the heck out of me. You want to go build it another one? Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's do it. Let's go check out that place. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. I mean, it's really, really a cool feature. It's the electricians back here getting their stuff done. I just love it. And more importantly, like I just said, I'm super inspired to go 
out and let's build another one for hopefully another happy aquascape. No, Pondscape, no, Atlantis. Yeah, maybe all the above <laughs> feature and, and they can live that aquascape lifestyle. Hey guys, you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, check out their channels. Really, really cool channels and, uh, and we'll keep doing this. Bye. This is some of the cool stonework. A bad view.